There are buildings in Belize that stand strong and mighty as the men that once occupied them. The marvelous Barbie Museum, Liberty Hall, is an estate similar to a community. Our vision is to restore this monument in the community with the knowledge that's been gathered here and start the engine for change. The drums are beaten in the streets of Belize, Central America, symbolizing that these are hard times, and in hard times, a preparedness for a different type of Belizean man are amongst us and taking their place in the 21st century. Belize. These times make weak men. Weak men make hard times. Hard times make strong men. Strong men it is the time. It's a cycle. So when you observe society, where are we in this cycle? Hard times. Hard times. So then we've got to be strong men. We've got to be strong women. We've got to raise strong children. It's better to raise strong children than to repair, to repair broken men. That's an easier task. Yeah, Jay? So, we have a senior formula that we function off of. And because of this formula, when I meet the foreigners in this country who are preaching religion, I tell them this. I say, you all are neo-colonizers. Please pack up your things and go back home. If you don't understand, then I break it down a little bit. And I say, are there hungry people where you come from? They'll say yes. Are there homeless people where you come from? They'll say yes. Are there orphans where you come from? They'll say yes. And I'll say good. Then pack up your things, go back home, and serve them. Because you're in my way while I'm serving my people. That is my stance because our formula is simple. Think universally. Remember, we're creators. Think universally. Work locally because this is where I'm planting. Manifest personally. Like God has said, lead a change you wish to see in the world. So I'm not looking to anybody else to come clean up the dirty house. I came and clean. So this is just me here. I clean. So this is just Musa here. He cleans. We're not looking to anybody to do this work. It's hard times, so we have to be strong men. We're thinking universally because we're not thinking just about ourselves. We're thinking about the generations a hundred years from now. Okay? We're thinking universally. We work in locally because this is ours. Nobody can drive us from this space. So this is where we need to centralize our works. And we're working, we're manifesting personally. Because we understand the power of creation and we understand the science of existence manifestation. The sounds are clearer in the city of Belize. The outside building do not reflect the inside content. And the wheels are spinning in the minds of Belizeans here and now. The words are on the wall and it only reads three things. Can you read this for us? When grandfather dies, son inherits. When son dies, grandson inherits. What is the inheritance?
inheritance. The inheritance is that which the grandfather lived for. It's equal to his dreams and his whole legacy. The movement outside does not convey the movement inside of a destiny of someone who wants to not hide. The evening of the night in Belize, Central America is happening right now outside. I would like for you to share it to the world your John Def Belize broken word ghetto expression poem. My dear people, we are in the deepest dungeon in this modern world's darkest age. The destruction that will occur has never been preceded, nor will it ever be weighed or measured or superseded by another. Attested to in both history and scripture. This present world and its order has come to an end. Its destruction is much closer than we comprehend. Just around the bend. And scriptures testify that when you see armies surrounding Jerusalem, know that this world has come to an end. And brothers and sisters, this is not the work of my pen, but is a quotation of divine revelation of warning to nations and men. So I say to you then, take warning as I took warning. Take heed as I took heed. For it's better to be gathered together like grain than to be blown away like chaff and burnt like reeds. All you need is faith the size of a mustard seed planted in you, nourished and let grow. And before you know, you will have a bounteous tree appealing to the ears, eyes, mind and spirit in majesty. Love, freedom, justice, and equality are rewards of believing and seeking refuge in the Almighty. So now the ball is in your court. It is your turn to report. You now have a choice to make. Either you join the righteous way or continue to support and play. The beat is powerful and the movement is righteous and the destination for a cause of people is right on course. How can you appreciate Garvey? If I they bad, they know the year about Garvey. If this is the first time they the year about Garvey, when they meet one of us, where are the Garveyites? What have they been doing? What has been their strategy? What has been their objective? What has been their focus? And I'm speaking like this out of my right as an African tradition. Where as a young man, now in my age where I have children and now think about business and organization and network on a higher level, I have a right to challenge the generations who have been organizing before me. Jay, when I study billiards, pool, one of the things that I tell you, it's not about the balls that you sink. It's about the balls that you leave on the table. So in this game of billiards that we'll call life, what balls have you left on the table for us to now carry on this game? The objective is to win, right? So what balls have you left on the table for us? This is Liberty Hall. And it was in a condition of horrendous filth for the past six years. But Garveyites are present. How? Oh, if this is the house of the man that we honor as Garveyites, I have to ask you this question, man. Pick sense for nonsense, as prayer would say. We could all get up and talk about what we've done, but 
what work is current. That's the key. Why? Because the past was once a no. The future will become a no. So what is important? No. So yes, we will laud you. We will commend you for the works that you did then. But what are you doing now? Let's use the analogy of basketball. It's a championship series. The first game played, and you as a star player do a sick windmill dunk. Come the second game, can you get on the court and talk about that dunk that you did in the last game? You in a new game, even if it's on the same court. It's a new game where you gotta score new points in order to be current, in order for you to win. No, because you won yesterday. You won yesterday. Congratulations. We know. We know. Log on, y'all. Win now. Right here. Love the truth. Liberty Hall. Guardian Museum.